We all get an electric bill every month, and they can be a major cost in our operation. There are ways to save on our electricity costs, and that could be purchasing energy efficient equipment. It also could be looking closely at the demand charges. Large customers in particular, the demand is a place where they have a, a large opportunity for savings. Let's look at the major components of an electric bill, including the customer charge, usage charges, demand charges, and some of the other charges. The customer charge is charged every month and is a fixed cost for an operation. And that fixed meaning no matter how much electricity you use, you're going to be charged this every month. The usage charges uh, are going to change every month depending on how much electricity you use. And that's typically in units of kilowatt hours. And so looking at those, anything that's charged per kilowatt hour, I'm calling a usage charge. The demand charges are charges that are for how much power you are drawing at a peak moment in time uh, for that operation. It's set typically once a year, and you're charged that rate for the rest of the year. And that's usually charged per kW or per unit power. And so identifying when you set that, that peak and trying to lower that peak is one operation that could be done to save. Um, other charges could be adjustments, taxes, um, other types of fees, uh, ener energy efficiency fees, environmental fees, things like that. A little later, we're going to look for these components in an electric bill. We're going to look at an example of a swine operation. And, and swine operations have a number of large loads that uh, can run simultaneously at times. Those could be ventilation, water pumping, feeders, lighting, all of which are very large loads. And when those combine and run at the same time, we can set demand at those times. And so we're going to look at an example where maybe um, savings could be identified with respect to demand. I have a chart here where um, I've kind of shown some of the loads um, in that swine operation, including uh, the ventilation fans, which are the two lines running at the top. They're running all the time to keep those animals comfortable. Uh, we have a, a water load in blue here. The, the water pump runs uh, when, the, when the animals need water, which is mostly during the day when they're awake. Uh, and then also we have a lighting load, which is a fairly low but constant load down here at the bottom. And then finally we have the feeders turning on and off. And so the feeders turn on and off in the morning and then again in the afternoon. Um, what, I'm, what I'm showing here is how um, demand can add up where if I'm adding up all of the loads at a particular increment of time of about 15 minutes, this might add up to about 45 kW here when I add up these loads. And that, if that's the time that sets my peak demand for the year, then that's what I'm going to be charged for. So if I can avoid that peak demand at that particular time, I might be able to lower my monthly bill every month. So this is an example where the feeders went off at different times. And I, you can see that if I add these up, that I'm going to be closer to 35 kW, which you can see that that's 10 less. And if that's 10 kW less, and that's the time I set my peak, then I might be saving 10 kW of demand times a rate, if could be as high as $10 per kW. That'd be $100 a month all year long that I'm saving. And those numbers can get higher if uh, a load for a farm is uh, quite a lot higher, which I've seen loads in the hundreds of kW rather than in the tens, like this example here. Now we're going to spend some time looking at our example electric bill. And we're going to try to identify those four main components within our electric bill. You can see beside me here uh, our example electric bill. And first, let's look for that customer charge. That customer charge is clearly identified at the top at $3.25. Um, if we're thinking about the next charge, which would be the usage charge, remember those are charged per kilowatt hour. So first, let's try to identify how much electricity um, in kilowatt hours we use during this billing period. And so if we look at this uh, bill, it says that we use 2,322 kilowatt hours during the billing period. And then we can look down that bill and identify all of the places where we're charged per kilowatt hour. Now, some of them are broken apart, maybe because they had different suppliers. So only part of that 2,300 kilowatt hours was charged um, for that, while other times all 2,322 were charged for uh, that rate. If we add all those up, we get 1585. So basically, 15.85 cents per kilowatt hour is our usage charge. So for every kilowatt hour we use, it costs us 15.85 cents. When we're thinking about that 
that usage charge, we can also look that it is split apart into different pieces. The energy charge, or how much it costs to purchase the electricity itself, versus the distribution, the uh, transmission, as well as some other kind of miscellaneous fees like the societal charge uh, and the system control charge are all parts of the usage fees in this particular bill. If we move on to demand, um, again, we need to figure out how much demand did we have for this particular bill. And remember that demand is based on the, the peak use uh, through your whole year. And so they have that calculated here. And that, that peak use is 11.9 kW for this particular bill. But then they actually made an adjustment uh, to that and, wrote, and raised it to 14.9 kW. And that's because of, uh, of the power factor where all the machinery that was being used caused uh, lower quality electricity and they actually had to feed the, that facility more electricity to compensate for that. Um, and that's called power factor. And so they adjusted that to power factor and got 14.9 kW as the demand charge. This particular bill charges by demand um, anything over 10 kW. So in this case, 4.9 uh, is over, was what that was used over 10 kW. And they multiplied that times a rate of 3.16. So 3.16 dollars uh, per kW is the demand charge uh, for this particular operation. Um, then there always is those miscellaneous charges and you see interest and security deposit and other things. Um, there is one charge on here that is negative, and so that's some of the adjustments that were made to try to clear up uh, from previous billing cycles and things like that. So spend some time with your electric bill, identify what you're charged and what for, and really look at that demand charge and see if there's any opportunity for savings. You can find some further resources at the following links and learn more about your electric bill and some of the details involved in calculating the different parts of your electric bill.